In this episode, we sleep on a roof next to the busiest airport in Europe and explore a huge training facility with countless simulators, classrooms and much more. And of course, some unpleasant encounters. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. On to the next location, and we see foxes on the street everywhere. There was also one behind the Mercedes. The kittens. This facility closed around 2015 when they moved to another location. Asbestos was found here, making it too expensive to redevelop. The oldest buildings date back from the 50s and other buildings have been added later on. Holy shit. After performing a circus act, the fox magically disappeared. Guess that's the front entrance with the security. Our initial plan was to sleep in an airplane simulator, but since copper thieves start to work and we trip constantly over rubber cables, we go up to the roof. Ah oh well, it's not a bad view for a free place to spend the night. So we found a place to sleep, it's on the roof, where we can see the planes landing. Yeah, red wine, wine chips, cheeses, <laughs> soup, soup, olives, chips, hot noodles, beer, <laughs> bread and rum I believe. You want some? Yeah, thanks man. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Dinner with a view. Yeah. Waking up was pretty surreal, with planes flying over your head. This spot is heaven for plane spotters. Throw some chili peppers in there from uh, the olives. Hopla! Oh, looks very good. Mm. Nice, bro. Yeah. Yay! We want to start shoot. I don't know what's going on. So when I turn, it just doesn't follow. I tried to reset it. Tried everything, but. Anyways. Our explorer stars in the offices. This is where probably the cup of teeth slept. It's not really recent. No. So this is just a small part of the facility. It's really big. We're not going to see everything. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> so this is how all the rooms look like here. So I think we're going to skip these and uh, go straight forward to the most interesting <laughs> parts. <laughs> Otherwise we're just going to see a large shithole. Even the internet connection has British Airways on it. Specially made, I think. Mm -hmm. UTP cable. It's all the same, I guess. September, 
September. It's crazy that they left everything behind, even like the video surveillance. Are you aware of your own cybersecurity? While you think your email is private and your passwords and online banking safe, somebody could have all this information, with example a man in the middle attack. When I travel, I'm reliable on Wi-Fi. On the airport, I use a lot of free airport Wi-Fi hotspots and also use hotspots in hotels. These Wi-Fi hotspots look and work fine. The thing that you don't know is that this Wi-Fi is actually being hosted by a hacker trying to impersonate free Wi-Fi access. While you enjoy that free Wi-Fi, he has access to your data. So when you log into your bank, he will get all your information. You don't want to get your bank account robbed, especially not when you're traveling. Many of these attacks occur because of unsecured or vulnerable Wi-Fi connections. The solution? Encrypt your data with NordVPN. This way the hacker can only see encrypted data and you are safe. NordVPN now offers three different packages, standard, plus and complete. If you choose for NordVPN now, you get four months for free when you get a two year plan with my code EXPLORE. So try it out now. Thanks NordVPN for being long term partner. So here is all kind of booklets with instructions. This one is funny. So like every single case is documented. And in this case, a restraint for a hard contoured sallow case, first class cabin. We quickly scan the floors to find some interesting rooms. Here you see an advertisement for the new learning academy, the reason why this place closed. So here was medical training, apparently. This room survived the destruction until now. <laughs> this is nice, Bob. Yeah, I'm coming. There's a really moldy smell in here. All the flight destinations ah. from British Airways. Oh ah, yeah. It's funny to see the classrooms here, eh? with yeah. all the instructions and stuff. I hate this turbulence, leave me alone. <laughs> you can only imagine what kind of people the flight crew has to deal with every day. Here we have all the destinations worldwide. Yeah, they fly to almost every continent. Yeah. Oh. It's funny. Oh, still intact. Yeah. Cool. Here they practice the different situations, which you could see on the posters. And with a toilet, maybe how to prevent people from joining the high mile club. There's a toilet on the right side. Trick to open the door or to lock the door. It doesn't work properly now. So another training room, but another trash room also. Yeah, this one is really <laughs> trashed. Let's go. Here you can see the differences between the two major airplane companies and the different setups they have. Look at the buoying at first class. I always wonder how places can be vandalized like this without noticing. It's time to find some highlights of this place. Come on, Frederick. Yeah, I'm here. Let's okay. try to go in from here. I think this is open. Maybe it's connected. It's 
No. Nothing? No. Properly lock, lock this one. Is there something in the end there? No. We overestimated the security measures a little. Okay. The main gate to the building turns out to be open. Yeah, boy. Wow. Get it. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Let's go up and go in one of these. Just uh, first up. Yeah. My God, it's way too hot in here. Inflatable vests. No food or drinks allowed. The controls of the simulator. Trainer exercises, emergency drills. Toilet fire. No, a bomb explodes in the toilet. No, no. So in this simulator, they were prepared for any type of trouble they could run into. So at the end of the book, 100 exercises. Just the panel, not even a touch screen. Oh, there are a few buttons on it. Just no smoking lights, just the basic ones. Seven three seven. That's the plane we're in now. Safety instructions. Nice. This from the other plane. That's the other one. Yeah. Second simulator. This was the 747. So we're oh. inside the two story plane. Here. here you have first class seats. First class seats. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. It's the first time that we are allowed to sit first class, huh? business class here. Yeah. They still have the same chairs, I guess. Oh. Mm. 
but yeah, the one plot is missing. I think there will be better ones. Oh, oh so much space, man. <laughs> it even has a screen in here. You see? How do you take it out? Oh, yeah. Press, press it. Oh, I think it's broken. They just put stickers here. Yeah, that's a cheap dummy. And this one is even worse. All stickers. Maybe it was just to practice the safety training and the safety drills yeah. and service and kind of stuff. Economy class. Where are we flying to? Tokyo? Uh, Tokyo, yeah. <laughs> Fukushima, please. This, yeah, looks like these are the real ones. Let's go up. Hmm. Oh, here's the cockpit. Also here, fake buttons. Therapeutic oxygen. Mm. So the back part is also a dummy. Some real buttons. <laughs> Look at this. Another one. Mm. Toilet fire. Oh, this is a really basic one. Mind your head, yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. Nothing. Totally empty. It's a really cheesy one. So I guess this is the first one. Turns out there is even a Ford simulator. Yeah. Right there. Also a small one. Also a simulator. Land ditching. But it's weird. Holy shit, man. There's also uh, yeah. yeah. Also some kind of really basic simulator. Only 25 years old. So apparently the gimbal works again, so that's good news. And here is one of the many simulators. Oh, maintenance in progress, okay. Seems like this one doesn't have a cockpit simulator for the stewards, I think. VHS. Must be from the early 90s, this one. Uh, I think these doors are already broken. Eh? Damn, I thought I could finally open a door.
Yeah. You see that I think this is also, this is specially made with this real door to practice. Uh, here you can see all the real emergency doors and the regular doors. A320 loft. Oh, this is fun. These are all the lights. Fast seat belt. Main inflation, main inflation fail. No smoking signs. Laboratories. Evacuation. And the oxygen. And the other simulators, they were fake windows, but these are real parts. Mm. Let's go out. I think they were installing a new type of door here. That's what they were doing, but it got never installed. Oh, it's also open here, you see. The hydraulics of the 747. In the plane, the crew had its own drama. You could find many reports of some catfights. Nice. The hydraulics. A little pizza break, Frederick got some pizzas. <laughs> we also bummed it to Sam. Mmm, <laughs> mm, it tastes so good. Bad. We get to the park with the real simulators for the pilots. One of the highlights of the locations. But a hall with some junk is not what they expected. Neither is this. And also another hall which looks like there was a flu market last week. But let's check out what we can find here. Finally, we find a simulator. Great, but the inside is mostly disassembled. We were back in one of the other buildings, in which we met the fox yesterday. In this building you can find a lot of classrooms. If you like mold and decay, this is the place to be. Okay. <laughs> this facility is no longer available for use. No shit. Nice decayed classroom. Mm. Poor.
The smell is pretty bad in here, man. It's too moldy to even look through this. Oh, oh. What do you do? Welcome to the DK office. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. This is the coolest one, yeah. This is a funny one, the hostile co-pilot. More technical classrooms, all the buttons inside the cockpit. My God, that's a lot to remember. Huh? Well, I'll rest it. We have one more le hour left. Hmm. It's not much. It's, uh an old photo of the airport, Heathrow. The goodie rooms here.
After walking around for many hours and see the damage done on the property, we don't take the security measures series anymore and decide to take a look outside to find some interesting areas. What? Out of nowhere, a security guard pops up and shouts to the others, which were nearby. I don't even see him at this point. Really? This must be the friendliest guard ever. No wonder this place gets beaten up and turned into copper thief heaven. Since I was not in the mood getting caught and missing the ferry, I bail out. The guard was feeling brave and decided to chase us. So I disappear in the building. Good luck with finding us. I think it's just going down that staircase. We try to find the quickest way out in this giant maze. There's a hole here. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if you liked the video.